Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you with the May market report for Omaha. Well, Douglas and Sarby, basically. Um, this is existing construction only, so we pull out the new construction. Um, so in April, we had 711 sales total. In May, we had 861, 21% increase. So as I've been saying, our demand is continuing to rise. Um, our interest rates have pulled back down a little bit. Uh, Friday, they closed around six and a half, so that definitely helps. Um, so we went from an average sales price in April of 344,000 to 362 and some change, up five and a half percent in one month. Now, I wanted to go back and look at what our prices were doing at the beginning of the year. Our January average sale price was 321,000 in Omaha for existing construction, up $41,000 in six months. So pretty crazy for, for little Omaha. So what all this tells me, you guys, is that the overall demand for existing construct or ex existing homes is us through the roof, right? It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, we're dropping in days on market. Um, so there's just a lot of demand out there. It's, but you know, you have to make sure that the houses are priced appropriately, marketed if aggressively, and they are in good condition. Um, that's what's driving the market right now. So that's the overall market. Now I want to talk about the first time home buyer price point. So that's zero to three fifty. So that stayed real stable. So we had 474 units in April and 535 in May. So up 13%, but our price has barely moved. It went from 249 basically to 247. We just had some lower price homes that got listed, um, but really that's pretty stable. Um, then the next segment that I always like to talk about is what I call the move up. That's 350 to 750. So we went from 209 units to 288. That's a 38% increase. So, I mean, big numbers, big jumps. Um, we went from an average sale price of about 464 to just shy of 477,000, which is just a little bit under 3%. So again, a, a very healthy, robust seller's market. Um, you know, even in this uh, move up range. Now in the luxury market, that's 750 and above. So 28 in, in uh, April and 38 in May. So 36% increase. So very similar increase um, on the unit sold as the move up. Um, our prices went from about a million 64,000 to 1.127. That's a 6% jump. This was a really interesting set here. So we went from 42 days on market, on the average days on market for the houses that sold in April, down to 16. So what that also tells me is that in addition to more houses selling, they sold quicker. And I know that there's multiple offers even on some of these luxury um, price points because I was involved with some of them. So at the end of the day, you guys, the market is still very, very active. If anybody tells you that the bottom is dropping out of the market, don't listen because these are actual statistics from the MLS. Um, this is not my numbers and this, it's not even really, you know, my commentary. Well, it is kind of my commentary, but I'm giving you statistics um, and the math doesn't lie. So at the end of the day, the market is active. The market is strong. Um, uh, interest rates definitely do have a play and a part in, you know, what goes on from a, from a buyer psychology, right? You know, and really the, and the demand that's out there. So if you guys have any questions on, Hey, you know, um, I've got my grandma's house or my parents' house or even my own house, what should we do? If any, you know, there's a lot of times I say, look guys, you know, in this situation you do all or nothing, um, because I don't ever want to see a seller put time, money, and effort into something that's not going to get them a return on their investment. So if you guys ever have any questions on that, put my 24 years in the business to work and, um, you know, there's no obligation, but I'm always here to answer any questions. And if you want to reach out to me, um, you know, via text, call, email, whatever, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.